going, guys? Masha, can you tell us what's happened to you? Some of the arrested were desperate to escape the police. Kasparov only had the time to make this request. Tell your leaders that this, this regime is criminal, it's a police state. They arrest people everywhere. Later, Kasparov was charged with inciting public disorder. He was one of more than 170 people arrested. The activists said themselves their demonstration would be pretty small, but in today's Russia, even small seems to be too big for the government. Continuing to scour the island, looking only for bodies at this point. Some of the bodies have already been taken to hospitals on the mainland where autopsies are being the most brutal expression of violence uh, in Norway since the Second World War. That adds uh, to the burden for all of us, but... Uh, and then economy minister. This is about Ukrainian future, and this is about Ukrainian people. Poroshenko also helped negotiate a key treaty to bring Ukraine closer to Europe, one guiding his platform now, as he told Al Jazeera. This is now the ninth week of protests, and they're spreading across the country, especially in the West. But they've changed in nature. At the beginning, it was all about getting President Yanukovych to sign a deal to bring Ukraine closer to the European Union. Now it's about getting him to simply leave office. Under Ukrainian authority. The Russian army had been in control of the airstrip at the Baalbek Air Force Base for two weeks now. At this point, they're in control of the entire base, something that is bound to sap the morale. So I, I feel like that they're the best investment that we can make, and they're extraordinary. So, so it's been an honor to work with them, and I enjoy it. But you feel we're not doing enough? Is that why you're letting your, your name? And no, I, it's, it's this day is... Because it was the iconic vehicle of German reunification 20 years ago, when tens of thousands of East Germans drove westwards for their first taste of freedom making this the perfect car for a trip down memory lane. It's a path with twists and turns from the influence of Islamist networks. Muslims in France are unlikely to heed Le Pen's call and vote for her en masse, but the events in Toulouse have changed this presidential race. They represent an opportunity and a risk for all of the candidates. Normally flows. The army takes us to the farming village of Kainitz, now an island. They're also delivering whatever's needed. They're going to party well into the night here in Berlin and well into the next day and well into the week because on Tuesday, the victorious German team will be back here. In the Coal production and use in Germany have hit the highest levels since 1990 when the two Germanys were reunified in hundreds of... men had loved ones. They had brothers and sisters that cared about them. We ran into this while driving around to film this story. Another apparent shooting. Five people a day are shot in Chicago. And we're dealing with a serious epidemic out here. Too afraid to talk, except for this man. We are living under the this no, how can I say, killer, 15 years, you know. He thinks the world should force President Islam Karimov into allowing and investing to cherish more than what's inside. Or medicates in a country where people often only seek care when they're already on their deathbeds. They stop in the same places, providing the same help, which may seem small, but it could help save an Afghan's life. And those soldiers who were wounded there that night did a great job. It's been four years since four Canadian soldiers were killed by an American bomb not far from here, determining if Robert Costell was killed by friendly fire. American, Afghan or Canadian will take weeks, if not months. Nick Spicer, CBC News, Kandahar. Tiny refugee camp. Zara Kamalfar is cautious. She says the Russian police don't like her talking to the media, and especially TV reporters. That's why we used a hidden camera. Officials haven't always been friendly. They take all my things. It's been a rough nine months in the airport for Zara and her...